Hey man, come here and talk. You you making a habit out of this second big race of the year, or two in a row right here. Yes, sir. Thank you all. Oh, okay. Thank everybody for all the support, Drive man. It, it's pretty awesome. Uh, you no, know, be on the front row, of Philip Morris again here. In my backyard, South Boston, man. I, I love this place. It's my home track. They on our turf now, and uh, you know we got a really good package on the long run, and. Uh, Man, I'm more excited about this car 300 laps into the race than I am qualifying. And, uh, you know, I said the same thing about Martinsville. We had a little electrical problem there. Dude. Uh, I thought we was going to have a real good shot fighting Phillip for the win there. So, we, you know, we got to make the most of it here. Uh, long race, got to stay out of trouble. Uh, you know, because, man, it's pretty exciting right now. You know, to be sitting on the pole uh, two big races in a row, it, man, it's just, uh, just humbling, man. I, yeah. I, it's a dream come true for it. Yeah, you were talking about the electric car at Martinsville. You knew that car was good there. I'm figuring y'all went over this car real, real good since then, didn't you? Yeah, I gotta thank um, Mel uh, Perry from Mel's Admissions. Uh, he come down to my shop, volunteered, drove down there uh, about 75 miles one way, and uh, he stayed there in that shop. He, he replaced everything on that car. Uh, coal, distributor, uh, plug wires, plugs. I mean, there's everything we could think of, and it might be. Uh, we went through it, and if it happened Again, you know, it was just uh, it ain't for lack of trying, and uh, you know that that I gotta give a big thanks to him. He put a lot of hours in. Uh, just uh, all these guys, HC Sellers, phenomenal race car, front row again. Um, just uh, really fun right now.